and welcome. Today I show you how I made this uh, sporran out of an old leather jacket. I really enjoyed the uh, making making it because sewing leather is one of my new experiences. I hope you enjoy the next couple of minutes uh, where I show you how I made it. And with up to then, it's with greetings from good old Germany, your Peter Freitag. Thank God it's Friday. Hello, these are the pieces I've got from the jacket I took apart and well comparing the size uh, of them with the with a pattern I found a couple of pieces which are useful for the sporn I want to make. Cutting the pieces uh, to size and shape, well this rolling knife helps a lot on on working with leather i found out and uh, well the result is better than trying to cut the circle with a with a scissor This is the later front and back of the sporran and these are all the five pieces I need for it. After sewing the gusset to the front piece I punched the holes for the cord which closes the whole bag. As you see, I applied some uh, double stick tape to the uh, to, to the leather in order that it does not slip while sewing. Here I'm punching the the holes for the what is called slots uh, for the belt, and uh, after I punched them, I connect the the holes with uh, with well just just the lines there in order to have an opening. As you see using a normal knife is uh, well not that nice as uh, using this rolling knife. Here I place the belt slot on the on the back of the sporran and uh, after this it's time for some sewing. I start by sewing around uh, close to the edge uh, around the this thing there and uh, when this is finished I go well across the top and the bottom of the slots and in order to give it a little more strength I sew across into the fields there.
here is the part which fears me most uh, which is connecting the the stripe which widens the uh, the bag to the well over here to the back side well, i had been very afraid of doing this especially when it comes to the round part and uh, here you can see but i managed it in the end while well, doing it very carefully Okay, one side note on that, doing this with the old machine I had, which has no uh, no motor in, it's just uh, driven by foot, is a bit more complicated and takes some coordination between the feet and the, and the hand. This is the last row I have to stitch and uh, well I have to take care that I don't um, well fix some things like the like the flap which closes the whole sporran to well with a while stitching around the, the bag well it went better than I thought oh, you could I could have well um, Kind of glue the the seam before I sew it down, but uh, it's not that necessary as the leather is very soft. Well, now that all the sewing is done, it's time to punch the holes for the cord which actually closes the bag as the the other one there is for um, holding down the top, uh, the lid part. Well, now that all the holes are punched, it's time to get the cord in there. The, the cord running around the uh, the top is a little longer than the circumference of the of the bag, and uh, this way I can add the knots to the front and the end. In order that the cord does not split open, I apply a little heat to the ends. Here I insert the cord which holds down the, the lid in the end and it's the same as uh, I did on the, with the cord on the top.
Last thing, I have to sew down some knob, and this is one I turned on the lathe. Well, I've been pretty nervous doing this by hand, but in the end it holds up and is doing its purpose. Here you see the finished sporin. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please leave a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, leave a comment on how you like my new series of uh, TGF makes. With that said, with greetings from good old Germany, it's your Peter Freitag. Thank God it's Friday.